Welcome back to Camp Sam, to Lake of the Woods. Um, Sam and I got COVID. We dodged it for two years, and now at week 38 of uh, Sam's pregnancy, we both got it. Uh, I'm pretty much recovered already. I'm on like day four or five. I'm feeling good. Sam's feeling a little worse, but uh, we're fine. Sam's parents got it. My parents got it. So, but anyways, we're all uh, we're all feeling okay. Um, welcome back to Lake of the Woods. This is where Sam and I lived last year. And as you can see, the water levels are absolutely insane. I'm gonna show you inside of their boathouse here. Took my flippy floppies off. Whew. Oh, that's cold. Look at this. I have never seen it anywhere close to this. Normally there's like a foot drop and now it's yeah this is insane i mean luckily they didn't have too much sitting in the water but you know unfortunately for a lot of cabin owners on lake of the woods um probably some damage done and and basically uh, how it works is lake of the woods is controlled by a, a dam at the north end norman dam and that lets water into the winnipeg river that's that's where the winnipeg river starts and then it dumps into lake winnipeg eventually at pine falls so basically you've got the rainy river flowing in you've got so much rain so much snow melting this year and uh yeah that's that's why the water is so i actually i want to pull something up here i was just doing some some reading i know I, i've been getting lots of messages about you know water levels and stuff on lake of the woods there's a website you can go to it's lake of the woods control board i'll link it below and it gives you updates on the water levels. It says right now, the current level of Lake of the Woods is 328.81 meters, 1,062.4 feet, over 95th percentile level for this time of year. The average lake level rose by 11 centimeters, four inches over the past week. The lake level has risen above the 2014 peak. So 2014 peak is I think the, the highest it's been in recent years of 323.78 meters and is below the record peak since regulation began um, in 1950. So in 1950, the highest since 1950 is 324 meters. Right now it's at 323 meters. So that's ridiculous. That was the most recent fork, uh, level update on May 27th. So crazy. Um, if you are boating on Lake of the Woods, definitely be careful. There's so much more debris. There's even floating docks and boathouses that have come detached. So I would highly recommend you don't drive at night. It would be so, if you hit a dock, you could very well die or a boathouse or something crazy or boats that have lifted off. Um, I would restrict your boating to daytime and just, just be aware, be watching the whole time because you know it, it sneaks up on you or it can be just under the surface if it's a big log. I know when I was in the rainy this spring, it was nasty, but anyways, I don't think there's any damage here at the Walleen camp, um, but uh, yeah, hopefully it, hopefully it drops. It's not, uh, it's not ideal. I might. I feel for all the people that do have serious damage to their to their docks. Um, anyways, we are here. Sam and I are probably gonna move out here in a week or two. Um, but I thought I'd do a little fishing. So I got a hair jig, I got a couple swim baits, and I thought I'd do a couple casts off the dock, see if there's bass, walleye. What's going on? Cast out the old Ned. Gonna let it fall down at the bottom and just start hopping. It's kind of a little mud pocket in here where it seems like the walleyes end up. There we go. Ooh, this might be a walleye. Nope. First fish off the dock. On the old Ned. Felt good, felt real good. There's always a couple smallies living under the Walleen dock. Nothing too crazy, but it's just fun catching fish off the dock. Oh baby. Incoming waves from another boat. Anyways, that's what did damage number one. I'm using a seven and a half medium light five pound braid, seven pound floral leader. So on the lighter side. And uh, we got our first fish off the dock, Lake of the Woods, baby. So I'll cast off the other end of the dock for a minute. Oh, just a nice eater walleye. 
No, I'm just kidding. I had a little bass. Walleye? No, just a little bass. No walleyes. Is this your shovel, Sam? Here we go. Woohoo! Bass are snapping. Ooh, that guy's chunky. Beautiful. I switched to a ripper swim bait on a tube and tail head. This is like one of my go-to setups just because I can make them myself, make a ton of them very quickly and then I'm set. All right guys, well, that's it for fishing, but we'll go see if we can find Sam. I think she's actually getting the cabin ready for when we, when we make the move, which might happen soon. It might actually move before the baby. We'll see. Well, remember how I said we weren't gonna move out to camp until the baby was born? Well, we scratched that. This is uh, like a day later, two days later from when I was here. And uh, th no, that was yesterday. Yesterday is when we were here. And I was like, oh, we're gonna move out in a week or two. Anyways, Sam's like, we're moving out now. And I was like, yeah, okay, let's do it. So anyways, Sam spent part of the day moving out. It's gonna take me, whatever, a day to, you know, transition some of my stuff over. But I did bring the Old Town kayak tonight. And as you can see, the lake is perfect. We're gonna go out for a little evening kayak session. This is perfect. We're gonna have optimal launching uh, conditions off the dock here with the high water. But um, yeah, we're gonna to try to, walleye's the goal, probably catch a couple bass for sure, maybe some walleyes. The water might still be pretty cold, but uh, it seems like once the water warms up a little bit here, the, the walleyes come in shallow. So anyways, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the, the rig we got today. This is the 106 pedal drive. This is the, smallest old town kayak i own and um, i only realized this recently I'll, i want to show you some stuff so on the bottom of the kayak right here see the little black panel there with a couple inserts that's actually for mounting a transducer so you can have a transducer mounted to it all the time which if this is your main fishing vessel um, it can be really good for me i'm moving between different boats, different kayaks, all that sort of stuff. So I have a portable mount here. And this one's by Scotty. So you've got the transducer and then you've got that kayak mounting, um, whatever, bolt that goes into the track. And then I've got a Helix 7 on top. So I got Lake of the Woods mapping on there. I've got sat imaging, um, which, is, which is great for the kayak. And then I power that with a 24 amp hour. So, I mean, I like this. 10 footer um, for quick run and gun. It's it's just so much lighter and easier than my 12 foot with, with the power drive and with the battery and everything. So anyways, we're gonna get loaded up and we're gonna go just fish right out in front of their cabin. Here's one other thing I wanna show you. This is a ram bar. And then I put a little one inch ball right on the nose. So then that locks on there. And then that's how I get my front angle with the GoPro. Um, it's it's tough filming from a kayak and you know, there is a chance of falling so I feel a little more comfortable um, Just using a couple GoPro so I'll roll a head cam and then I'll roll um, a GoPro on the front with audio sinking into it All right, these are the two setups I'm rigging up now I might change them out on the water got the banger ribs on a quarter ounce do it molds tube and tail jig and on the other one we got the black Marabou jig, the Haffies Marabous. He uh, gave me a couple to try out, local guy that ties up some jigs. And uh, yeah, both seven and a half foot rods, one's medium, one is medium light. 10 pound and five pound braid. And the most important part is your life jacket. All right, here we go. You coming? No? Okay, we can try. I don't know if you're gonna wanna come. I don't think you're gonna like it. This high water works out pretty good. There we go. We're in the game. So basically, we're just fishing a little sand mud pocket here. 
They've snorkeled it, swam it, have fished it. Obviously the water's a lot higher, but these little pockets seem to hold walleye from time to time, bass, pike. Just using that swim bait and covering water. This is what we call prime time right now. Surprise kayak fishing hasn't gained more popularity in Northwest Ontario. I can't say I've seen too many kayak anglers. And it just, it unlocks. I mean, obviously right now we're in Lake of the Woods, so, you know, a big boat might make more sense, but just for all the back lakes and, you know, if you want to catch unpressured fish, kayak gets you to anywhere, really. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? We got a walleye! That is not gonna get released tonight. Here we go, first walleye while living at the lake. Okay, right into the kayak. Beautiful. I've never caught a walleye in here before, but I kind of thought with the walleye, I kind of thought with the water being four feet higher, normally I'm catching them along shore and in that pocket, but now, Water being deeper, I thought I might be able to catch them back in there. Ooh, that feels decent. Oh, we got a bass. Decent smallie. Decent smallie. Nothing wrong with that. Our light is fading. We still got some good stuff to fish yet. Oh, he pooped. He pooped all over inside of my kayak. Just gonna flush it out a little bit there. Yep, all right. We're casting onto a rock pile, a little shelf that sticks out here, comes into like uh, five feet of water, four feet of water. Right now it'll be a little deeper, but little little rock shelf that comes off here. And just kind of fish in the top of it. Hopefully some of those, you know, I think there's bass on it kind of maybe all the time, but a walleye's hopefully kind of slide up on it. Prime time now. I'd like a couple more walleyes to go with that one I got. Walleyes for breakfast tomorrow. All right, that might be it. <laughs> There's a storm on the way. I don't know how much time we're gonna get in before it shuts us down, but we'll try. It's pretty sweet. Being able to just take off for a quick little evening session. Oh, Rudy, you wanna come? You can hop on if you want. All right, I don't think Rudy's coming today. By the end of the summer, we'll get him on the GAC. Hooked up. This is right where we got the walleye yesterday. I think this might be a bass though. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, that's a nice big bass. All right. It's one of the bigger bass I've caught around the, the walleen dock. Oh, that's a fatty. Here, Bubba. Yes, there we go. Well, the storm's coming in. I'm not sure how long we're gonna be able to fish, but I had to come out for a little evening session. And that is a nice free spawn smallie. Uh, definitely three pounds, I don't know. Three and a bit. Right where I caught the walleye yesterday. Cool, sweet. All right, guys, I think I gotta call it. Before I wreck any microphones. All right, guys. Well, I wanted to end the video giving you guys a little tour of camp. I, I think I've mentioned this before. In, on, in, in Northwest Ontario, a lot of people call them camps instead of cabins. I, I know there's been comments about it. Um, but, but anyways, last year we lived in the camper. And then there's new camp. And this is old camp. How, how old is this, Sam? Do you know? 
your grandpa built this. So this is this is pretty old. Anyways, this is um, this is where we're living. I'll show you my office first. My bedroom. I only sleep in here when Sam's snoring too loud. This is brought the iMac, got my charging station, got my scented candles. So that's where I do my editing. Over here, this is the newer addition to it. It's um, bathroom, kitchen, and then this is the living room that we basically never spend time in. But some cool stuff, like these barrel chairs, super stylish. I feel like they could definitely be uh, be in somewhere, in someone's style. Over here, we've got a chair that Sam's family has named Gork. What's, what's the story behind that, Sam? No story. It's just named Gork? I don't know why. It's just always been Gork. Judy has found a liking to Gork. She now owns the chair. Anything you want to say? <laughs> and then over here, we got Sam. How many days till the due date? I don't know. What day is it today? Third? Nine? Nine days. How are you feeling? The people want to know. Mm, tired and sore. Are you ready for the baby to come out? I think so. Nervous? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. And this is Sam's office. What are you doing right now? Um, updating blog posts because Jay hasn't done it since last year june last year what else do you do one whole year what do i do yeah i do some bookkeeping stuff i do some catch and cook stuff i wouldn't be able to do what i do without her and we are very excited like i handle all of the finances like jay doesn't know what i spend money on i don't even know if the business is in the green or in the red but i have two credit cards he doesn't know about <laughs> <laughs> um, and then this is uh, the master bedroom where I sleep when Sam isn't snoring. She's been snoring lots lately, so hopefully that... Uh, it's a pregnancy. Hopefully it's tough when the, when the baby comes. Then we'll have a crying baby. Yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty great place to spend the summer. But anyways, this is camp. Hopefully going to do a lot of short little quick videos like that. A little evening session going out. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And next time I drop a video, I might be a dad. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs>